About 10 years ago, I was dabbling in molecular ecology and doing some PCR reactions. And while I was doing them, I thought, wow, this would be a great way to incubate little critters. So we tested this idea and demonstrated that we could successfully incubate eggs from a grasshopper, a mosquito, and a fly. But why should you use a thermocycler instead of an incubator? were precise and accurate. The lid of a thermocycler also contains a heating unit if you need that extra temperature control. As the name implies, thermocyclers are able to run fluctuating temperature programs, which is perfect when you want to simulate the conditions out here in the comfort of your own laboratory. One thermocycler is able to run a gradient of 12 temperatures. That's equivalent to using 12 incubators, saving you time and money. In your modern laboratory, space is a luxury and an incubator is large and bulky. On the other hand, a thermocycler is small and compact, so it doesn't take up as much space. Did you know that a thermocycler can work with the lid left open? This means you could set up a video camera to continuously monitor your invertebrates at the expense of having your invertebrates exposed to ambient conditions. And if size matters, some thermocyclers can accommodate a larger tube so you can incubate a larger invertebrate. The hardest part about using a thermocycler to incubate invertebrates is working out the best method for your intended species. But a thermocycler will work straight out of the box without the need for any customized components or assembly. So a thermocycler is a simple and efficient way of incubating lots of invertebrates. We can quickly characterize thermal traits and save our time and money.